Commercial airplanes are vital for our way of life. And as we fly more today than ever, efficient, safe, and environmentally preferred aircraft are important. These airplanes traverse the globe, helping businesses grow and bring families together. The Aircraft Fleet Recycling Association, or AFRA, is a cooperative of over 70 companies from 20 countries that felt there was a better, safer, and more environmentally preferred way to recycling aircraft that have reached the end of their revenue service. AFRA's Best Management Practices, or BMP, require that aircraft disassembly be conducted in a controlled and secured setting, whether in a managed workspace at the facility's hangar or in a carefully cordoned off area on the airfield property, while these large airplanes are dismantled for their spare parts. After years of flying, their successful careers pave the way for a new life. As one career ends, end-of-life opportunities are just beginning. Airplanes have found many uses after they retire from commercial service. Some are used in the private sector and continue flying. Some are used as training aircraft for military or law enforcement agencies. Some are used for museum pieces. And some aircraft even find a way into films or television. However, these end-of-life services only pertain to a few of the world's retiring aircraft. The majority of retired aircraft end up in boneyards, an airplane graveyard where they find another purpose entirely. Airliners go through a process of cocooning, where the engines, windows, wheels, and sensitive equipment are sealed from the harsh elements. These once proud birds will remain here until the airline reactivates them or sells them to another air carrier. However, not all aircraft go back in the skies. Some are sold to aviation parts companies for dismantling and or recycling. Parts removed from the airplane are carefully transported to an aircraft-specific staging area, or quarantine area, where the components are cleaned, inspected, tagged, and inventoried. This process is overseen by properly trained mechanics and is supervised by certified people using the specified tooling for maintenance aircraft. If any parts are deemed unusable for any reason, they are placed in a quarantine area where the items will be properly recycled. There are many valuable components on a retired aircraft. Normally, the first components of the jet to be removed are the engines. These are enormous and weigh up to six tons. Sometimes the engines can be reused and therefore make it one of the most valuable reusable components. Many of the engines are parted out and scrapped for the titanium and other valuable metals. The end-of-life transformation begins for these aircraft as they are dismantled for reusable materials. Inside the passenger cabin, seats, sidewalls, luggage bins, ceiling panels, carpet, and anything that is non-metallic are removed. These items have been considered non-recyclable in the past, but the industry is working on better ways to recycle these items. By removing these articles, though, the aircraft can be prepared for efficient recycling. Once the fuselage is clean and all the parts are removed for possible reuse or recycling, the crews prepare to scrap the plane. The airplane is surveyed for metals, such as titanium, magnesium, and stainless steel. These metals are separated from the aluminum that is the main recyclable metal on the aircraft. Separating different types and even different grades of metal allows the recycler to make better use of the metals when they are recycled. Dissecting an aircraft is an art form. It is extremely hazardous and must be carefully performed to maintain safety for the crew and the environment.
A grappler mounted on the end of an excavator removes the thick wing of this airliner. Next up is the tail section. Here, the excavator cuts through the fuselage of this Boeing 747, causing the tail to fall. The operator will then reposition his machine to continue working on the tail section. Once completed, the operator will finish cutting apart the rest of the aircraft. Each airplane is unique. Cargo aircraft have less to remove than passenger airliners. Depending on the size and function of the aircraft, it can take as little as a week or as much as six weeks to process and prepare for recycling. When the plane has been scrapped, the materials are sent to a recycling facility where it is weighed and inspected. Depending on whether it is scrap aluminum from the airframe or other precious metals from jet engines, the recycling facilities maintain records to document every material. To maintain the highest grade of metal to be recycled, the recycling facility tests the metal for purity multiple times throughout the process. Keeping the facility clean and materials separated is one of the company's top priorities. After the metals are separated, they are transported to cast houses to be recycled. The metal is fed into a furnace to be melted down into ingots. The ingots are then sold to the metal processing industry that uses the recycled metals for new uses. As aircraft are disassembled, recycled and reduced to metal ingots. Newer and environmentally preferred aircraft are built to replace them. <music> aircraft have been and always will be an important part of the global transportation network. Finding new ways to reuse and recycle aircraft parts and materials is the goal of the Aircraft Fleet Recycling Association, or AFRA. AFRA and its aviation industry members are studying new recycling technologies and developing new ways to be safer and more environmentally preferred. From soaring high in the skies to a pile of shredded metal with a new form and purpose, Reusing and recycling is a vital part of AFRA's mission. And the future of aviation. End of life is just a new beginning.